believe you are becoming like me. You're actually on the net now. Which I is... have no friends. I only type. Exactly. <laughs> but you were so resistant for years. I tried to get you into that. I know. What's what's wrong with me? I've become you. <laughs> I know. It's scary, <laughs> isn't it? But you you do that a lot now. Do you have that no. little portable? Thank God for. I have got my little email pager. Right. And um, and I'm just live online. It's and good, isn't it's it? It's fantastic. That's how I keep in touch with all my friends. And yeah. It works. All right, we have a new. You have a new movie out called The Next Best Thing with Rupert. Oh, we we'll never get to that. Yeah. Okay. Here we are. And uh, <laughs> it's a really wonderful film, and it's the story of two best friends. Rupert plays a gay guy. You play his best friend, not gay. And you one night get drunk, and a baby is the product of that. Mm -hmm. And you decide to raise the baby as a non-conventional family. Yes. And then. And then I meet someone and fall in love. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> Trouble. <laughs> exactly. Now, which clip do we have? Do you know? I don't know. Okay. Do you uh, know? Yeah, just tell me loud. Oh, when well, you're going on the date. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, this is good. <clears throat> okay, go ahead. Do you know what it is? I think so. Set it's it up. The one, on. Okay, uh, this is where um, I finally, after being urged for five years to go out on a date, come home and tell Rupert, my best friend, who is the father of my child, that I have a date. Finally. There you go. Take a look. The next best thing, which opens March 3rd. <clears throat> I have a date. What? I have a date. No. Yes. Who would? Ben Cooper, investment banker, New York. Woo! 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 <laughs> oh God, what's he doing in L.A.? I don't know. He's working on some kind of a takeover. Takeover? That mm. might sound bad. Is he attractive? Mm. So what type? Oh, which are type? Big hands. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Does he uh, know about moi? <laughs> well, <clears throat> we didn't really get around to frivolous details. Well, that's all very well. What's he going to say when he arrives? What am I supposed to be? Andre the Zany Butler? Just be yourself. That's the man you fall in love with. Mm. That. You probably all want to know who that handsome man is that I fall in love with. Yes. Hello. Right? Yeah. Yes. The one and only gorgeous Benjamin Bratt. Isn't he adorable? <laughs> now, had you met him before this movie? Because um, I knew you were friends with Rupert, but did you know Benjamin? No, I never met him I, I, until rehearsals. Until this gorgeous man walked into rehearsals and I was like, oh, who's that? Now, are you a producer on this film, too? You just... No, I produced the soundtrack. Oh, you did? Yeah. yeah. And the single is out now, but the record doesn't come out until February 22nd. Yeah, I I, you seem to know more about my career than I do. Well, you know, now that you're me, you're just sort of spending exactly. all your time eating junk food, <laughs> hanging out by the TV and on the Internet. So I'll let you know what's been going on in your life. Thank you. Um, we're going to have a, a chat with Benjamin. Are you going to stick around? Or you have to go? You have to go. I'll stick around. I'll stick around. We're going to have Benjamin come out. He's a cutie patootie. He left the hit show Law and Order, but he hasn't done too badly for himself. His very next job was playing Moe's boyfriend in The Next Best Thing. Take a look. Will I see you again? I think you're going to see so much of me, you're going to get sick of me. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I know this is not really a date, but I'm afraid I'm not to kiss you anyway. Too. This is new. Is this just for life or for a movie or what? Just for fun. You like it? Yeah, trying to get loose, you know. Yeah, you, you're missing the top part of it, though. <laughs> is it only supposed to be the bottom part? It's kind of a look, I think. Oh, it is? Yeah. See? Ask her. I don't know anything about it. Is it? Stuff. I don't know. Maybe it's passe by now. No, it's nice. Right? It's good. Yes, it's asymmetrical. There we go. Right. Yeah, that's what all facial hair should be. Mine usually is until I get it waxed. Um, now, were you nervous? movie with Madonna? Come on. Big icon. Superstar, what, you know. What, meeting one of the most internationally famous icons around? Exactly. That would be it. Were you a little... Well, you worked with her. I mean, the only thing I really knew about her was that she was the one person who could probably make both straight women and gay men change their minds about their sexual orientations. <laughs> Benjamin. 
so very was, eloquent. So yes. I, I guess I was a little nervous. <laughs> you were a little nervous. Yeah, but it was it was pleasant actually first meeting her. Yeah. I was immediately struck by three things when I first walked in was first of all, I think she's prettier in person. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Gosh, thanks. But also um, what else? She's quite petite. Yeah, she's smaller. Yeah. A lot of people say that, that you're much smaller than they expect. But in her petiteness, she's buffed beyond belief. <laughs> she's got a tiny buff body. A, a tiny buff body. <laughs> you know where she gets that from? Dunkin' Donuts. Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> no, Krispy Kreme Donuts. Krispy Kreme, there you, you eat go. You Krispy Kreme Donuts, don't you? Once in a while. I Aren't they good? Be, they're good. Oh. Yeah. No. <laughs> what was your nickname on the set? Mo told me that her daughter named you, named you. Oh God, I don't know what language. Shabuba. It's <laughs> she named you Shabuba. She called me Shabuba. Yeah. I wasn't even around when it was when when she thought of it. Actually, I think she was flirting with him. Really? Yeah. She's, she's hopelessly she's madly in love with him. She's years old, and she already knows how to flirt. I wonder where she learned that. <laughs> <laughs> she's no dummy. <laughs> and she just made it up, and that was it. You were christened Shabuba. I am now Shabuba. Now, when Madonna sees me and all of her. Friends, they say, hey, Everyone Shibuba. calls him Shabuba. We live to embarrass him. <laughs> <laughs> you must love it. It works. <laughs> now, um, I hear you really get along great with kids. You love kids. You I love kids. You have a lot of nieces and nephews. Yeah, my uh, my sister's got two brand new uh, children, a two year old, a three year old girl, and uh, I think you and Juliet should have a child. You think? Gorgeous, right? Gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then you can do your famous break dance moves for them. I'll uh, I'll see what I can do. You do you guys want to see his famous break dance? Moves? <laughs> But he's gonna, the thing is, he's going to need musical accompaniment. No, I don't. I don't. Really, it was something that... You know anything funky? <laughs> <laughs> Come right. on, yeah, Shabuba. Well, how did you learn about it? it, it this move comes about after um, I feel like a, a really successful take has been printed. So. <laughs> okay. Every time, he had, every time on the set he had a good take, the director would yell, cut, and he would jump into the, like, I don't know. Go ahead. Do it. Go ahead, John. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's a tribute to my friend Lars from college. Oh. Hi, Lars. Yeah, where'd you learn that? From Lars? <laughs> yeah, from Lars. I mean, you know, whenever I break it out on a real dance floor, people go, oh, that's so 80s. Yeah. 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 That's so yeah. Michael Jackson. But look, I did a Michael Jackson thing, too. <laughs> Whoa! Boogie down! Multi-talented. It is really 80s, though. Now, in this movie, you do yoga. Did you have to study yoga, or are you one of those yoga heads? Well, like when, I, when I first met Madonna, um, after rehearsing the line, she wanted to take me through some yoga moves. So right. it was a bit like uh, life imitating art. I didn't really know a thing about yoga, but I did know how to do this one thing. I, I, I think it's called a scorpion. I can go from a handstand into this particular move, trying to impress her, of course. Yeah. After I wasn't I, impressed. No. She wasn't, <laughs> she wasn't impressed at all. She said, well, can you do this? And she got down on the floor. She took her left leg, put it up over her head, so her left foot was right here. She took her right leg, did the same thing on this side, so both feet are up here like this. And then she put both her hands down and went into this handstand. Like you that. did not. Did you feel it? Yeah. yeah. Why haven't you ever done that at Thanksgiving at my house? I can't. <laughs> that would make the stuffing so much I better. Can't do that with high heels. You honestly like. can put both legs at the same time? Yeah. I said, this is some woman. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind <laughs> I can show you. I can he, was, he was a really good sport. Look, I can get my leg up to about there if I rest it on the desk. <laughs> but it's hard that yoga. It looks deceptive because it's, it's like, you know, it looks like you can just get into that doggy down up thing or whatever. <laughs> whatever you do. What do you call it? Downward dog. Downward right? dog. Yeah. yeah, whatever. I don't yeah. know. There you go. <laughs> now, how's everything with Julia? It's kind of personal, but whatever. Yeah, well... <laughs> It's so public now. Things yeah, are wonderful. That's good. I mean, you know, she's she's an amazing woman. Yeah, I enjoy her. And she gives me love. And, Ooh, well, uh, that's the important thing, isn't you know, it? What more can you ask for, really? Yeah. Yeah. It's good, right? Yeah. She's I'm a lot of fun, right? You, you guys are friends. Yeah, I, I like her a lot. Yeah. Does she put the cap back on the toothpaste, though? I just want to know that. She does. Okay. Yeah. yeah. What about you? I'm the one that forgets. Yeah. yeah. You're the slob in the relationship. Basically, <laughs> I am. Yeah, I'm that too. I'm the slob. I, I don't clean up anything. I fancy you I'm don't. a good decorator, though. Oh, really? Yeah, I think I got good taste when it comes to home home furnishings. You gave me a nice hat once. That's right, I did. What does that have to do with decorating? I'm just thinking of fashion. Most men wouldn't Style think of hats taste. to give as a gift, you know? 
it was nice colors. Oh, it was like a baseball cap? No, no. it was, what are they, like, they called? From uh, the, uh, a Peruvian... Um, oh, oh, those are cool. Yeah. yeah. Chulio, I think it's called. Yeah. You know, my head is the size of King Kong, so it didn't fit. <laughs> but still, it was a nice gift. It was. Right, we're going to take a break. We're going to come back. We're going to talk some more. We're going to play a little game in the audience. Me, Benjamin. You're going to be the host. Me, oh, Benjamin, yeah. and Mo. Play Mo or Rose.